Thanks for watching my video. Today, let's discuss a very important theorem I can say in definite integer. Definite integer is limit of sum. Okay. Now, let's start proving this. Or well, let's solve. How can we represent a definite integer in terms of limit of sum? Now, first of all, let y equal to f of x be a continuous function. It should be a continuous function, okay? Continuous function on the close interval a, b. Now we assume that. We assume that f of x is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. This is our condition. Why, we, why did we assume this? Because when we draw the graph, that the function lies above the x axis. Okay. Now, let's draw the, uh, one diagram here. This is x exists, y exists. What we are going to find is this area, okay? Area of this one. We are going to find the area of this one. Okay, now using or integration and this curve is nothing but y equal to f of x okay this is our curve y equal to f of x now let p a n q b be the coordinate at point x equal to a and x equal to b now p a let's say here this is p and this is a and this is q and this is b this is zero okay this is the origin Now we are going to find the area bounded by this curve y equal to f of x then uh, in the x axis okay this is x axis and the ordinate x equal to a and x equal to b where this is and the ordinate mean this one and at this point is x equal to a and at this point is x equal to b okay Now we are going to divide this segment AB into unequal parts. You should draw such that this area, this rectangle area is equal to this area, okay? Even though I'm drawing in a large and different way, these two should be equal. All the sides should be equal, okay? Now let's name here P1, P2, P3. And here, let's take A1. A2, A3. This is A1, A2, A3. 
and this is a 0 minus 1 and it at here x equal to b this is or unequal part okay and here p and minus 2 p and minus 1 and this is q Now, now, since we divide AB into unequal parts of length H, okay, this length should be, all this length should be H. All this length are H, okay. And so that, now divide AB into unequal an equal part of length H H okay. The length is H N such that or an H which is one is an H and H is O B minus OA okay which is nothing but OB is B minus OA is A okay such that at the point P1 P2 P3 no A1 A2 A3 up to A and minus 1 okay This should be an a and minus one. Now let p one, a one, p two, a two, p three, a three, and so on of the p and minus one, a and minus one. Be the ordinate. Ordinate at uh, this point with meet the curve with meet the curve at the point P1, P2, P3, and so on of the P and minus 1. Now, yeah, this one. P1, A1, P2, A2, P3, A3, and so on of the P and minus 1, A and minus 1. Such that this meet the curve at P1, P2, P3, and so on. Okay? Now let this uh, be co uh, alternate. At this point, we meet the curve at this one. Okay. Now the abscissa of at the point. No. The abscissa. Abscissa mean. Uh, what? Co uh, what? How to say? Coordinate of y x exists. Okay, or that x exists meaning. Okay. Now the abscissa. At the point A1, A2, A3, and so on, up to A, and minus on this means this abscess. Okay, this all these are abscess of and R, comma, and BR. What first we have A, isn't it? This A because x equal to A, we have A. And next is a plus h because this length is a and h is at another length. I mean, if <coughs> let me write here, this is our this one again. Okay. If here is x equal to a, then 
I mean if you uh, x equal to a, and if you take the other one since this length is what h then I mean if you want to take this one a1 less a1 then I mean a1 will be a plus h isn't it? because all this uh, divide in unequal parts okay so a, a plus h a plus 2h and so on up to a plus and minus 1 which is what AP okay arithmetic progression now the ordinate and uh, now the ordinate of this point are what AP first AP yeah AP is nothing but f of a and a1 p1 is f of a plus h a2 p2 is equal to f of a plus 2h and so on and f of no a and minus 1 p and minus 1 is f of a plus and minus 1 h and bq is just b no no f of b i mean f of b now with its sub in sub interval I mean sub interval this one we divide here sub interval like this sub interval we can uh, associate a rectangle since we form a rectangle here already uh, well base is corresponding to the sub interval base is this and the head uh, is the value of f at the left end point of the that sub interval I mean here at the left end this head okay and now the area of each uh, rectangle is an approximate approximation to the area of this curve okay if you take this here first uh, if you find out this area of rectangle this one then and other also you can find out and so if you add up all this area of rectangle okay then you will get the area of this curve okay then is the idea now area of rectangle or let's say first rectangle is what area of this first rectangle here let's say this one this area of this first rectangle is area of rectangle is but what base in the altitude okay or base or length into bridge so you can see here length is what a into a1 this we take here so it's like this This is A and this is A1. This is A2. Now, if I want to take this area of this rectangle, I mean, base into altitude or length into breadth. Okay. First rectangle's length is what? A into A1 into. Here is we take P here. So, breadth then is A, P. This one you can write. A, A1 is what? A into A, A1 is this between these two we say that in is h okay now they mean h a p is what one is a p a p we have here f of a and again if you take area of second rectangle then what is that second rectangle a1 a2 into a1 p1 which is Hace f of a plus h got this is between this is we take h and and this one a1 p1 will be here a1 p1 f of a plus h and so on this will go on for n terms now area of n rectangle is nothing but 
a and minus 1 b into a and minus 1 p and minus 1 which is what h f of a plus and minus 1 h okay and now if you sum out all this area of rectangle sum of area of or rectangle is equal to first rectangle has f of a plus second rectangle has f of a plus a and third one has f of a plus two has plus and so on and the n times is what has f of a plus and minus one has okay now this area that we find out all the area of this rectangle or given rectangle here we sum out all them so that means when we sum out all this area of rectangle small rectangle then you get the area of this curve okay now this area that mean this one is approximately equal to the area of the region what a p q b okay a p q b all this when you sum out all the area of rectangle we get a area of APQB. Huh?